Hello and welcome to 24 hours eating my followers fear foods. I'm terrified because they're all my fear foods too apart from like two things but I'm in all in anorexia recovery and I know lots of people like don't know what that kind of means um, and it's not like a specific thing like it's different for everyone it's just a label but basically when I say I'm all in I mean I want to be 100% recovered from anorexia um, I want to face every single fear food I have um, I want to just push myself constantly because I want to have 100% a healthy relationship with food again like I did when I was younger. And I'm kind of at a point now where I'm like, well, I've committed to weight gain. Like, my brain, like, when I think about a fear food, is like, you're going to gain weight. And now I'm just like, bitch, like, that's the whole point. For me, I'm scared of a food because I'll be like, if I eat that food, it's going to change my body. If I eat that food, it's going to make me gain weight. If I eat that food, I'm going to lose control. Um... And also sometimes it's about depriving yourself of things you like. Me from the future adding stuff in because there's a few things I didn't say that I think are important. Not everyone with an eating disorder has fear foods. I've met loads of people with eating disorders that don't have any fear foods. So if that's you and you're seeing this and you're like, I don't have fear foods, uh, that's literally fine. Eating disorders are so individual. Just because somebody is scared of this food and it's included in this video, it does not mean you need to be scared of it too if you're not scared of it. It doesn't mean it's a bad food, it doesn't mean it's unhealthy. Don't compare how much you need to gain or maintain to how much I need to gain weight or maintain. Um, and if I say, you know, I feel like I'm eating a lot, it's because it's a lot compared to what I'm used to. I'm not, I'm not saying that if anyone eats that, it's a lot of food. All bodies are different, all bodies have their own needs, we all have different metabolisms, weights, heights, it's impacted by a lot of things, so just don't compare. For breakfast, <laughs> I'm having frosted treddies, which is like sugary cereal, so... Also, I always have wheat effects apart from like one day I had poached egg and avocado, so this is scary. It's just a breakfast, isn't it? It's you know similar to what you have on the internet. Instead of being two wheat it's sort of a lot of little wheat in shreddies form. Oh, it is. Put it on. Yeah, and you have to just face the fear. It's good, it's like childhood. It's just food that your body needs. First challenge of the day done. Finito. I just poured milk on myself on the table. <laughs> no, I'm gonna finish everything today as hard as it's gonna be. Like I'm literally challenging 24 7 work. That's what my body needs to put on some weight. So now it's time for part two of breakfast cause meal plans and also nourishment. So on my toast, I'm having full fat spread, um, which I've challenged for a while, so it's become slightly easier. And then Nutella, which I had for the first time yesterday in like probably, I think I had it for the first time probably since I was about 14 or 15. And then on the other piece of toast, I'm going to have raspberry jam. What lots of people don't realise about anorexia recovery is that you actually have to eat so much food to heal your body you have to eat things that scare you because you're never going to rewire your brain if you don't so i've just got to do it i get i panic about doing things too soon in recovery and going too fast but there is no too fast in recovery because you have to take it at your pace the quicker you do all your fears the sooner you'll get better and the easier it will become faster if you know what i mean so
So for morning snack, I'm having a coffee, but lots of people said flavoured lattes. So I've got this caramel syrup and it is sugar free because that's what was on offer on Amazon. But like one day old challenge, sugary syrup. I'm having a banana. I'm not really scared of bananas, like as a fear food, but <laughs> I had a literal phobia of them when I was like, probably from the age of like four till probably last summer when I like tried one. Um, and I'm convinced that I don't like them. So that kind of challenges that rule of like, what if I don't like it sort of thing. Also oat milk cause a bit too caramelly probably but i like it sweet and i also like a milky coffee i'm not a, like black coffee gal and when i have been we all know why so no more of that thank you Why have I been so convinced that I hate it? Eating disorders are so weird. They literally convince you that you hate food. It's literally nice. Lunch, a sabado bagel with um, some avocado. It's something I've challenged before, but I was really anxious and I just did not like the taste of it. Like, well, I didn't know what it tasted like because I just felt sick. And avocado is something I've been challenging for a while and it's still scary, but you have to repeat your fears to get over them because if you do it once, it will stay scary. It literally tastes so nice though, which means I'm less anxious than last time because so I can taste it. Flavor. Come on, enjoy it. Don't let the bully win, which is what, exactly what he's doing if you put it down and sigh. You can almost hear it saying, yes, come on, struggle, struggle, struggle a bit more. Oh, you dropped it. Don't eat it now. That's a sign. You shouldn't eat it. <laughs> literally. <laughs> It's all going wrong. I've got it all over my hands. No, I, right, I can't do this. People are going to think you actually speak like that. I always feel a lot of guilt for like finishing everything on my plate. And I'm always like, oh, nobody else finishes the food they eat. But people do. To actually recover from anorexia, you can't just like leave bits all the time you have to commit and you have to finish because otherwise you're literally giving in to that sort of voice so part two of lunch is an alpro yogurt these were really scary to me but i've had them every day as part of my meal plan for like quite a while it's sprayed on me quite a while now so i'm actually not very scared of them anymore which just proves that you can kind of overcome your fears not wasting any, get it all off the lid. I know a lot of people did say they were scared of yogurt. So, yogurt is good. It's just calcium for your bones. I literally feel like I can't, like, it, like I just feel like I can't do it. <laughs> it's 
It's a packet of crisps, why am I not sure? I'm getting my life back. One prawn cocktail crisp at a time. I just want to be able to enjoy food. I just literally, I've wasted years and years and years of my life. Everything is so controlled and so thought about. I just want to be able to go and get a packet of crisps because I fancy it. To overcome anorexia, you have to live like you're not anorexic. It's like fake it till you make it. And the more you fake it, the quicker you make it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for dinner, I've got something that loads and loads of people said they were scared of um, and has been a big fear of mine for a long time, but I did challenge it um, on my birthday and the week before, so this is like my third time having it, so I've got a portion of pasta, that's not cooked, I will cook it, I'm not eating raw pasta, caramelised onion shroom dogs, so I'm basically just going to make a sausage pasta, but... What I'm also doing is cooking with olive oil. mum just challenged me to stab three bits of pasta and eat them all at the same time challenge the rule of that's not going to fit in my mouth so it will you could fit five in just open your mouth wide enough oh wow i'm nearly finished and it feels like a massive meal but my body needs a lot of food um, I'm, I have a pudding and I'm having my childhood favourite corny of it. Oh, well done, man. Thank you. Now you're going to eat it, you may as well pick up your spoon and get on with it. I only speak fat. This is for little Ro. It literally tastes like my childhood. <laughs> Why is recovery so? when does it mentally feel okay and i don't want to have an evening snack because i feel so guilty but i know i need to because i need to gain weight and i need to get my life back but like it's a challenge and it's just so hard but i'm not gonna give up because i i know how miserable i am and how miserable i've been for so long okay so for night snack I've got Nesquik to make an oat milk milkshake and I'm not going to lie, my brain is not being kind to me right now, which is why I need to do it because if I give in, 
lots of people said they were scared of milkshakes, so I thought I'd face my fear. That's caving in. Come on, take a big slurp and let me see your face. It is really nice. Maybe the chocolatey taste as well. Oat milk is the best mm. thing. I can't believe I literally spent so long being like, oh no, I have almond milk or like hazelnut milk. I really want to try cashew nut milk. Yeah, like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> and like today I've just pushed myself so much. And I just want to show people that in recovery you need so much food. Because I think a lot of people just sort of think, oh, just to eat you don't need that much, much yeah. Time. And like it probably looks to some to some people what I eat what I've eaten today probably doesn't look like loads, but to some people it will look like absolutely loads. Like how are you eating that much? And the whole sort of perception of someone having anorexia is like, well, how can you eat that much? But if you want to recover, you really have to. You can't you can't recover and eat you know tiny portions and no. your safe foods. It just it it's difficult, but. You know, it just wouldn't work that way because I've been there and I've tried that and... Just, yeah. You can't do everything at once, but I also do no, think I have pushed myself... No, today you pushed yourself so massively, much. that's what you've had. What you're used to mm -hmm. and what, you know, that must have seemed like a lot. Yeah. Uh, um, and, you, you know, you got through all that. But that's, that's you know, really good food, really good nutrition, that's going to... Your body's going to have to be loving that. Mm -hmm. And eventually... That's what you're doing it for. Yeah. This bod. Absolutely. And eventually that will work through to your brain and get it, get it functioning. Mm -hmm. Because now you take it. Well done. I did it. I did 24 hours of fear foods thank you for watching if you did watch <laughs> and i really hope it helped some of you um i know i did struggle but i did do it so i hope it just kind of shows to you that you can you can do hard things